Welcome to level six of our local SEO training, where we're going to talk about how to get points of interest from a custom location. And this is different from the level four, where we learned about uh, how to create points of interest from around the business from a centered uh, radius where the business is at the center at the middle and at level six in this lesson we're going to talk about how we can get points of interest from a centered location that is not the business itself it's in a different area uh, from the business and to give you a visual i have uh, prepared uh, google maps where we can see that if I tell Staxio to give me points of interest, let's say that this is my business and let me open up a Google Maps. This is, I think this is the pen that is on the Google Maps. So if I tell Staxio that this is my business here and I tell Staxio to, this is Staxio, this is the local SEO and the Maps URL Builder, but tells text you to give me points of interest in driving directions from a radius of two and a half kilometers around the business without enabling the custom PRL location, which we will get to in a second. This is what Staxi will do. Staxi will take a, let's say that this is a, the two and a half mile radius with the business in the center. And Staxi is going to get and give me the points of interest in this area here okay so what we're gonna do in this video is tell Staxio to give us points of interest from a different location where the business from, that is different from the business so let's say that this is the business and I want to um, oops sorry I wanted to let's say get the points of interest from this area here right so um, which it does this is the center the of the radius that I want to get points of interest from and this is the feature that uh, yeah, when we enable custom POI location and we uh, insert a custom latitude and longitude this is telling Staxio to give me the points of interest from this radius here so Let's do a practical example. Let's go on to Google Maps and let's select like a uh, business in a location that is totally different from the location where we want to get our points of interest from. So for example, let's say I am going to be, my business is going to be around the airport and this is my business. This looks like a, a Spice shop from India sounds good to me. And I'm gonna use this business, I'm gonna go into Staxio, and I'm gonna paste this into. So I'm on the local SEO tab on the Maps URL builder, and I'm gonna paste this into the Google Maps URL. So this looks like it's a spice shop, so I'm gonna do uh, best spices in. Portugal um, and I'm going to enable the points of interest in driving directions and this will give me a selection of the radius in meters I'm gonna do two and a half kilometer radius and I'm going to enable the custom point of interest location these are settings that I had from previous project I'm gonna delete these settings and I'm gonna ask Staxio to give me museums and parks on a two and a half uh, kilometer radius around the custom location. So let's get this custom location. And I'm going to go in a totally different directions direction. So moving away from the airport. So let's say that uh, this would be the location where I would like to get points of interest from. Let me move the map away zoom in a little bit and let's say that this is the okay zoom in a little bit more 
So let's say that this is the location that I want to get points of interest from. So I just clicked on the mouse. Okay, I just click on the mouse and I can see the coordinates here. So I can come in, select and copy the coordinates. This is one way of doing it, right? So I can just click somewhere, anywhere on the mouse and then click and get the coordinates from here. One other way of getting coordinates is if I right click with my mouse and then I get these numbers. And if I click on the numbers, they've been copied. Uh, also, Google has given me the coordinates. So there, there's two ways of doing this. Um, pick whatever you like the most. Um, let me show you what these look like. Um, so if I paste these in, let's see if I can find somewhere to paste these coordinates. This looks good. So if I paste these coordinates, so this is, these are the coordinates that I took from right clicking with the mouse and then clicking on the pop-up menu that uh, Google Maps is giving me and then clicking on the coordinates. They've been copied and these are the coordinates. I'm gonna paste them. These are the coordinates that Google uh, gave me. The other, the second method to get the coordinates is just by clicking anywhere. Just click anywhere. It will show you the coordinates and I select the coordinates and I'm gonna copy them I'm going to show you what I've just copied. And this method of getting these coordinates is better because it has less numbers. These are, the, that's a lot of numbers in Stacks. You will only accept, I think, up to six or eight. So if I take this latitude, paste it in the custom latitude, take this longitude and paste it in the custom longitude. I'm going to delete the coordinates from the keywords. And I'm going to press the build button uh, from to best driving. OK, just to make things faster. I'm going to click on the build button. OK, so let's take a look at we have created. Let's open up the Google sheet. So uh, what I'm interested in is on these POI, these points of interest images, because I want to check if that they are at the custom POI location I told Staxio to create. And they are. They are in this neighborhood here, which, let me zoom out a little bit, which is this area here. Passo de Arcos which is this one here, which is totally different from the, let me see if I can find the business again here, the Zodos da India, totally different, right? So Stacks you gave me and created points of interest. Actually, let's open up directions to these points of interest, driving directions. Let's do the first one. And this one seems to be sightseeing spot so you can see it's in a totally different area of the business itself this is sightseeing spot for one of these points of interest let's open i don't know the last one so this is a park again on a totally different area in a radius that is way outside the business itself. And this is how you can use the custom location points of interest feature of Staxio. And in recap, what we did was we took a business uh, and then we told Staxio to give us points of interest and driving directions on a radius that is outside the point, the area of the business itself. Thank you for watching and see you on the next lesson.